people need to know that algorithms are not inherently fair or objective. When they discriminate, they discriminate at scale because they're making all of these decisions that essentially will determine whether you can succeed in life. Absolutely think algorithmic bias is a civil rights issue. I am Vincent Lay, Senior Legal Counsel with the Greenlining Institute, a racial equity nonprofit. When I first started working in policy, I was concerned with all of the bias that we were seeing in human decisions. I perhaps naively thought, okay, well, why don't we just take the humans out of those decisions and then we can take the bias out of those decisions. Everything's gonna be the perfect objective answer based on science and data. Thought it was a lot of promise um, around AI. And I think that's, you know, a very useful fiction that, um, you know, the tech industry wants us to believe. Essentially, as soon as I started doing more research, turns out, you know, academics in the field have been writing about this for a long time, that AI is biased. It's so important that we're looking at this issue because these systems are replacing human judgment in so many areas that are important that we don't even know about. An algorithm is essentially a set of steps, uh, a process to complete a task or make a prediction. So if X happens, then I should do Y. So if I see a loan application that comes in with a credit score below 700, then I should do deny the loan or approve the loan. At the root of any algorithm, automated decision, there's fingerprints of humans, then that means that, of course, there's algorithmic bias. Or it's problems with the data. So the data may not be representative, so you may just have way more men in your sample that you're learning from for the AI. The data could be wrong, or the data can have bias already baked into it, which is what you know, I'm mostly concerned about. Because if you fed an algorithm you know, 60 years of lending data, and you tell it, okay, based off this data, predict who should get a loan, they would learn from all the you know, white bankers that made these loans uh, in the past, and they're gonna learn, hey, we don't wanna lend to people of color, and we don't wanna lend to people who live in certain zip codes. And the algorithm's not gonna have any ethical lens to be like, oh no, that's illegal now, we should stop. No, they're just gonna pick up that pattern and they're gonna replicate it. I think the stakes of not addressing algorithmic bias and making sure it's fair is that we're just gonna see the status quo, which is pretty terrible, right, of massive wealth inequality in the United States. Um, just continue to grow. But I think what's amazing is that people, you can't fix people necessarily, but you can fix algorithms. And that requires us to actually take a look at what is wrong with the algorithm first. So algorithmic transparency is a way for us to get a little bit more agency. We need a mandate that, that companies have to disclose this either to the public or to the regulators, how their algorithm works, how it makes a decision, how it makes a decision about you, and you know the ways that you can contest if you disagree with the decision. It's a nutrition label of sorts for algorithms. We really need to make sure that we get the rules right so that in the future, we don't continue perpetuating the, the bias that is baked in our data. I don't want people to think that they have no power, no agency in these situations. I have to work in politics in, a, in addition to working on policy and the law. You'll be surprised at how effective one constituent phone call to your local legislator, your, your assembly uh, person, your senator can be. They do care. <laughs> I know it's funny to say that I had a stop myself from laughing, but they do care, right? And I, I've seen that myself. And you don't have to have these big asks. It could just be like, hey, test algorithms for bias. I think it's really important for, you know, the public to get their voice in, because right now it's being dominated by, you know, big tech lobbyists. And we don't have enough people coming in to say that, you know, my, my parent got less care because the AI algorithm saw that I wasn't gonna spend as much. Because people don't know enough about why these decisions are being made. So I'm seeing that begin to change. And I think that's how I came to peace with uh, the fact that algorithms are flawed, but still something that I pursue and I support and believe in the potential of because we can fix these algorithms. It is possible.